There's nothing that could push him away. There's nothing that we've done that would push him away. And so we actually just need to be able to be honest right. and be truthful. And for me personally, it looked like firstly, just being willing to be open with God and say, okay, I don't really know why this is so heavy or why it's weighing on me. Yeah. Um, I believe you gave me this promise and I wanna see this come to pass in my life. I don't see it yet, but I'm gonna confess the Word of God over my life. This conversation today is about where we find refuge. Yeah. And I think the best place um, to start is the Word of God. So I'm just gonna read Psalm 46. And the title of it says, God, the refuge of his people. Mm -hmm. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And in the little um, notes beside it, it says, another little translation is abundantly available for help in tight places. Mm. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth should change and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at, at swelling pride. Then it says, Selah, mm. just pausing his presence. Yeah. Mm. And then it goes on in verse 10 and it says, cease striving. Mm. And another little way of saying it is let go, relax. Yeah. Cease striving, let go and relax and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Mm. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Yes. And I love the yeah. definition of refuge. It's a, a condition of being safe or being sheltered from pursuit, danger, trouble and distress. Mm. And I'm sure we have many stories that talk about how abiding in the presence of God, yeah. that is where we have found true refuge, yeah. Yeah. a safe place, a shelter from a storm. And mm. yeah. for me, um, seems to be the theme of talking about <laughs> relationships that haven't yeah. gone the way that I, I thought that they would. Um, it was quite a few years ago when through not my own uh, decisions or um, actions, but had a broken relationship and I'd continued on in, in life and was, you know, serving in church and mm -hmm. doing all the things and being busy. And, um, it was kind of like a couple of years went by and it kind of all caught up that I hadn't really had that moment to come to God, that refuge, that safe place. Mm -hmm. And, um, it kind of all accumulated to this moment when I had a few days at home and, you know, any other time that I would look out and I look up at the the sky and I'll be instantly reminded of the sky rider and just his goodness and mm. how amazing he is and how small I am in a good way compared yeah. to the, God's sovereignty and, and his um, amazingness. And for some reason in this moment, I was looking at the sun shining, the bright blue sky, mm. and I was just crying. And mm. I just had a, mm. a glimpse of like, I think this is what depression could feel like mm -hmm. being yeah. so low yet looking at something yeah. that should be causing me to, I don't know, be happy and be joyous. Yeah. And um, in that moment, thank goodness I had the Bible, mm -hmm. <laughs> grab the yeah. Bible. And, um, and I felt like God gave me um, this scripture mm -hmm. and it was in Job, mm -hmm. which, you know, when you're going through a tough season, you're like, you know what? Okay, let's go to Job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have all these things ripped from me. Like yeah, it wasn't right, actually, yeah. you know, like Lamentation says, like the worst is never the worst, like truly, you know. Mm. Um, mm. And yet there was a scripture that just stood out and I didn't feel like it was my reality, but I wanted a promise in that moment, which the word of God is 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 a place of ref a refuge, a safe yes. place, a place yes. where we can be honest. And from that place, you know, um, grabbing a hold of a promise that perhaps may not be our reality yet, but. Right. in time, believing that God is faithful yeah. to his word, that it won't return void, that I will see the promise of God in some way in my life. Yes. I mean, grabbed a hold of Job 11 in the message mm. and it says, reach out to God. And it says, still, if you set your heart on God and reach out to him, if you scrub your hands of sin and you refuse to entertain evil in your home, you'll be able to face the world unashamed and keep a firm grip on life, guiltless and fearless. Mm, yeah. And it was these next verses that I ended up writing out and putting it beside my bed. Mm. And I would just read it every morning and every night, believing even though I didn't know how God was going to do it. And it says, you'll forget your troubles. They will be like old faded photographs. Mm. Your world will be washed in sunshine. Mm. Every shadow dispersed by day spring, mm. full of hope. You will relax, confident again. You will look around, sit back, take it easy. Expansive without a care in the world. You'll be hunted out by many for your blessing. Mm -hmm. And I kind of had this realization in that moment of, I have to bring everything to the feet of yeah. Jesus. I have to have this ta-da moment of like, if I can't 
process and bring everything before the Lord. How yeah. could I ever do this with other people? Because yeah. hmm. yeah. he's the safest yeah. place. He sees everything anyway. Yeah. He was right there with us. Yeah. And there's nothing that could push him away. There's nothing that we've done that would push him away. And so we actually just need to be able to be honest right. and be truthful. And for me personally, it looked mm-hmm. like firstly, just being willing to be open with God and say, okay, I don't really know why this is so heavy or why it's weighing on me. Yeah. Um, I believe you gave me this promise and I want to see this come to pass in my life. I don't mm-hmm. see it yet, but I'm going to mm-hmm. confess the Word of God of my life. Mm-hmm. And part of it looked like yeah. bringing community in and mm-hmm. bringing accountability in and having people that you opened up to like a best friend and, yeah. you know, that lovely lady at, at, who serves at our church, a psychotherapist that had mm-hmm. supervised time together mm-hmm. yeah. and just going, okay, like, what has the Lord put on your heart yeah. today? Like, let's yeah. talk about the yeah. thing that's weighing so heavy. Yeah. And by the grace of God, um, I can say that now today I'm living in that promise. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, where you get to sit back and you relax and you get to take it easy knowing that God's done it. Yeah. yeah. Knowing that you don't pinpoint back to that moment of like, you know, the most defining mm-hmm. thing, but God in His in His grace and in His mercy, like I yeah. get to live in this this promise. And so... What was the moment that you discovered the presence of God to be a refuge for you? What would be the moment where you ran to the Lord maybe completely and just was like, okay, Lord, (laughs) here it is, like your safety from the storm, from any distress, from anything that we could be going through. You know, I was raised in the church and began like uh, singing in church when I was just a kid and mom sang and directed our choir and all that kind of stuff. You know, I remember feeling his presence as like an eight or nine year old girl Mm -hmm. singing about his love and kind of this moment. And here I am, this kid in our little church and and, and singing. But I just began to, as a child, I felt the love of God, yeah, just like, beautiful. kind of like this beautiful little window into like who he is, that, mm-hmm. you know, and I just began like weeping. That was my first experience, even as a child. And I think yeah. wherever we are in our faith journey, those, some of us, I'm, you know, been raised in the house of God, others have not, but it's like glimpses of who he is and like mm-hmm. coming into his presence and experiencing him. For me as a kid, that was like, oh, this is a safe place. This is yeah. a refuge for me. Mm. Like, I love his presence yeah. and I, I can feel him. Yeah. And I, so it was like, that was like a, a defining moment for me, right? Yeah. And then all throughout my teenage years of continuing yes. to like this, the presence of God um, is a place I love to be because it is a refuge. Mm-hmm. It, it is a safe place for me, which is why I'm so passionate about our children yeah. and being raised in the house of God or yeah. having experiences in the presence of God as, as a young person, like mm-hmm. it's just so yeah. important because it marks us. Yeah. It's like, it, it marks our life and we go like, ah, oh, I experienced God. Once you seek refuge from God and you start to get a taste for dwelling in His presence, once you start to have a palate for what it's like to be safe and secure and loved, you want to dwell there. You want to stay there. Now you want to go out of your way to spend a little bit more time to be in God's Word. You want to make a little bit extra time in the morning to pray to God a little bit longer. You want to go on a walk in your neighborhood so you can just pray to God about a couple things before you go back home. Like, I know that when you find your security and safety in God, you will start to realize how how safe you really are, and you're going to want to stay there for a while. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.